This video is going to cover solving two-step equations. Let's go ahead and get started. In step number one, I am going to find the variable and draw a line of balance. Step number two, I'm going to identify the operation happening. Okay, this is just like one-step equations. Okay, step number three, identify their inverse operations. And step number four, I'm actually going to use that inverse operation to undo the operation. So there's, I'm going to find my variable. It's right here on the left-hand side. And I'm drawing my line of balance. Number two, identify the operations happening. There's more than one. What does this mean? I'm just going to write it to the side. This means negative 3 times x plus 5. So what are the operations going on? Multiplication, I'm going to undo that with division. And I've got addition, I'm going to undo that with subtraction. Now with two operations, I've got to decide which one I'm going to get rid of first. And here's the key. Remember that my order of operations went like this, grouping, exponents, multiplying, and division, and addition and subtraction. When I'm solving an equation with more than one operation, I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go from the bottom of more order of operations to the top. I like to call it sad meg. That's subtraction, addition, division, multiplication, exponents and grouping. I'm going to start with addition and subtraction before I get to division and multiplication. So I need to undo getting rid of the plus five first. So I'm going to come to my problem and I'm going to oops, undo the plus five. How do I undo the plus five? We decided it was subtraction. So I'm going to write subtract five. Now the question is where else do I write this minus five? Some people fall in the trap of drawing it underneath the minus three. I don't need to do that. I only need to draw it once on the left side of my equation and once on the right side underneath the two. I'm going to draw my totaling bar and I'm going to simplify. Well, I haven't done anything to this negative three X yet, so I'm going to bring it down. The positive five and the negative five zero out. So I'm going to eliminate those and ignore them. I'm going to bring down my equal sign and I'm going to do my subtraction. 2 minus 5 is 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Now I'm not done yet because x is still not isolated. There's still something with x. How do I get rid of the negative 3 that's with it? Well, we just decided over here that that means negative 3 times x. So, and we decided that we were going to undo that by using division. So on the left-hand side, underneath the x, I'm going to write divided by 3, negative 3, because I want to divide by what number is there. And I'm going to do it on the left hand, the right-hand side as well, divide by negative 3. That eliminates, and I'm left with x is equal to, well, what is negative 3 divided by negative 3? If I type that in my calculator, it's 1. I can always check my solution by plugging it back in. So remember, I can check a solution, negative 3, take out the x, another name for x is 1, times 1 plus 5. I want to check to see if it's 2. So let's go ahead. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, plus 5, is that 2? It sure is, so my solution is correct. Okay, we're going to do two more quick problems together, and then I'm going to have you try one on your own. So drawing my line down my equal sign, let's find our variable. There it is on the left-hand side. What operations are going on? I'm going to draw in my multiplication, and there is some subtraction. So how do I get rid of, I get rid of the multiplication by using division, and I get rid of addition by using subtraction. I need to decide which of those operations I'm going to get rid of first. Now remember, you're going opposite of order of operations. So, or in other words, kind of a way that I like to think about it, 
This two and the X are like boyfriend and girlfriend. They're tied at the hip. Notice how they're connected. And the plus 12 is like the annoying little brother. You got to get rid of the annoying little brother first. It's kind of the tag along. Plus 12. Plus annoying little brother. So how do I get rid of that addition? I'm going to use subtraction. And remember, if I do it on one side, I've got to do it on the other. Not underneath the, my, the 2x, but underneath the 4. And I'm going to total those up. Okay, 2x is left over. The 12 and the negative 12, 0 out. And the 4 minus 12, if I type that in my calculator, is negative 8. Okay, so I took care of the addition by undoing the subtraction with the subtraction, and now I'm gonna get, undo the multiplication by using division. So dividing by two on one side, drawing my, continuing my balancing scale down. If I do it on one side, I have to do it on the other. This cancels out, I'm left with x, and negative eight divided by two is negative four. All right, try this next one on your own. Pause the video, and when you're ready, press play. All right, let's draw our line of balance. Here's our variable. Identify the operations going on. Again, it's multiplication. I'm going to undo that with division, and I've got addition, and I'm going to undo that with subtraction. Which do I do first? Okay, remember, order of operations backwards, so I'm going to do this first and this second. Okay, if I'm going to undo the addition, I need to, underneath the addition, I need to subtract. So I'm going to subtract. What is it that I'm adding? I'm adding 9, so I'm going to subtract 9. So subtract 9. Negative 5c is left over. This zero is out. I type this into my calculator. Negative 16 minus 9. Negative 16 minus 9 is negative 25. Okay, I go back to my operations list. I need to undo the multiplication that's going on, so I'm going to use division on both sides. And I'm left with C equals, what's negative 25 divided by negative 5? Well, it's a positive number, and it's positive 5. When we simplify our answer, we're not going to write the, pl the plus sign. We're just going to write 5. C equals 5. All right, here's one more that I want to give you a heads up on. So let's identify the operations that are going on. You might see subtraction going on. And you might say, that's all I see. But there's actually two operations going on. And I'm going to show you how, again, when the variable comes second, I'm going to rewrite it so that the variable comes first. That negative is attached to the J. Okay, remember I would separate my terms. If I were to snip it, I would snip it right here. So that negative stays with the J, and a positive stays with the 8. So there's two operations going on here. I'm going to rewrite it so that the variable comes first so I can see it. And then I'm going to, now I'm going to identify them. So I've got addition going on, and I'm going to use subtraction. And you might say, I don't know what's going on there. There's no variable, there's no number, so I'm going to put a 1 right here. Multiplication's going on here. This is negative 1 times j plus 8. So I'm going to undo that multiplication with division. Here we go. Which one do I do first? I'm going to get rid of any addition and subtraction first, and then multiplication. So I'm going to minus 8 from one side, Minus 8 from the other, that zeroes out. 15 minus 8 is 7, and I'm left with negative 1j equals 7. Now, because there's a negative 1, I need to get rid of that. It's multiplying, so I'm going to divide, and I'm left with j is equal to, what is 7 divided by negative 1? You'll see when you type in your calculator, it's negative 7. All right. That's it. If you have any questions, please reach out to your teacher and good luck on your Alex assignment.